Hello guys, welcome to Online Web Tutor. I am Sanjay. We are learning Laravel 8 framework tutorial. This is our part number 72. Inside this video, we will continue Tinker and inside this Tinker class, this time we will see Tinker with DB class. Inside last video, we had discussed PHP Artisan Tinker with model. By the help of model, we had seen the operations like insert, update, delete as well as find methods. Now this time, we are going to see the same operations called insert, update, delete, find but this time we will use DB class. So back to terminal. Now if we want to go inside Tinker cell, simply type the command called php artisan tinker and as you can see that we are currently inside the Tinker cell. So if I back to browser, this is the table called students. Inside last video, also we had interacted with this table. Now this time, we are going to use db class, we will do insert, update, delete, find with this table. So back to terminal. So first, we will see all about how can we insert data inside students table. So here, we have db, scope resolution operator, next we need to specify the table method and inside this table method, we need to pass the table name. So we need to do insertion inside this students table. After that, we need to call insert method. Same, we need to create an array and inside the, this array we need to pass our table column names. So the table column names as we know we have name. First we have called role underscore number. Again back to table. Go to structure or here as we can see that we have an id, role number, name, email, created at and updated at. But id is auto increment so it should be auto incremented. All we want role number, name, email and these two time stamp values. And one more thing, in the last video, while inserting values using create method, we had seen that we need to actually add all those columns inside fillable property. But while using this db class, we don't need actually those fillable properties. So let's say role number. Here we need to pass let's say 5, any dummy role number next column we have called name and inside this I am passing the student name next property or let's say column name we have called email this is one more dummy email two timestamp values the first is called create at we need to pass new date time and the final column we have that is for the timestamps called updated at new date time so when we press enter it returns true value which indicates that this row has been inserted so if I back to table click on browse and as you can see that inside this table we have second row entry so this is all about the insert method using db class in the last video, also we had discussed that think about those cases in which we don't have any tinker cell. So if we don't have any tinker cell to execute this program, first of all we need to go inside controller or any of the component file. Inside that, we need to write this command, make a route and execute via browser. But inside this situation where we have tinker cell, simply we have typed the command behind the scene it has interacted with the Laravel application connected with the database and inserted our row. So how it is useful? Now next this is all about for the insert method let's see for the update method. So before update let's list all the data using some fine methods so db table and inside this table this is our table name and Let's say that if we want to list all the data from this table means right now we are not specifying any where condition so simply use get method. So press enter. So right now inside this table called students we have two rows. We are getting a collection object inside this collection. This is the first object which is taking all about the first student detail. 
second we have another object inside this we have second student detail so how can we list all the students by using this simple db actually query now let's see that how can we fetch a single student detail inside that query we will pass student id so let's say we want to read this student id one value so first of all let's clear this console db here we have table method students and i will use where method because we need only a single student detail so where id equals to one and we will use get method so when we press enter again we can see that we have a collection object and inside this collection object we have a single student detail but right now inside this result set as we can see that we are getting a collection object we don't need actually collection object because right now we have a single student detail so how can we get only this object so we will get by the help of when we use instead of get we will use first method so let's say db table and inside this we have students and after that we will put our where method so let's say where id equals to let's pass one value because we need the student items details on the behalf of this first number id and we will use first method so pressing enter and here we are getting only a single object so this is all about our find methods also apart from this id if we want let's say all the list of data on the behalf of this roll number name value email value so we can change condition as well inside this where method now let's see all about update method so simply db it's not class actually we need to use table and inside this table first of all we need to pass the table name where method and if we need to update our let's say second number id we need to use update method and inside this update method we need to pass our updated information so simply what we want on the behalf of this id equals to 2 we want to update the name of the student so let's say updated name so simply we are updating only the name value of this second number id pressing enter it returns two value and why it is returning two value again go and list all the students because id2 does not exist inside this list we have id equals to 3 or id equals to 1 so next we need to modify our query and simply type here id equals to either 1 or 3 so if i type 3 then as you can see that the return value 1 which indicates that the row has been updated again if you go and list all the students now as we can see that in id number 3 we are getting the updated name value so this is update method and the final method we have called for the delete method so to delete any data we need to use delete method so how can we use simply db next we need to write the table name called students and inside this students we want to delete the first number id so here id equals to 1 and simply we need to concatenate with this delete method so it will be delete method so pressing enter it returns one value which indicates that the row has been deleted now inside this collection object we have only a single student object and that is id equals to 3 so successfully guys by the help of this db class we have discussed all about insert method update find methods as well as delete method and one more thing that in the last video we had seen the concept of php artisan tinker with model so in that case we had called something like model student and we had used call all method by the help of this all method actually we had listed all the data but look at this message when we type student behind the scene tinker is going to interact with this model 
So either we can use such type of syntax called student all or simply we can interact with the tinker by the help of full namespace. What I mean if I type app let's say models student this is the namespace of model called student and if we type call all so as we can see that we are getting data so either we can interact with the model by the help of this command or simply we can use the full namespace to interact with that model so from the last video and this video now we had seen the whole concept to interaction with the database and php artisan tinker so php artisan tinker is not restricted for the database connectivity and its operations Apart from these things, also if we want to run our Cedar, Factory, any means our database operations, we can interact via this cell interactive command cell. So for this video session guys, thank you for watching and have a great day.